Fancy intro music, yeah! Woohoo! Hey there, Capsuleers. Welcome back to the Eve Echoes University video. I know it's been a while since I made one uh, between Star Trek Fleet Command, the holidays, and everything going on. Haven't been able to jump in and do this, but with bubbles coming out, interdiction bubbles, that is, I wanted to make a video on a technique that I haven't seen a ton of people use. I see most people use kind of like a cluster technique around the gate where they just pop like six, seven bubbles and try to catch everything that goes in and out. But what we like to do is a drag bubble concept. And you'll see in the video behind me, what we're doing is placing bubbles in, in between gates to have people warp into them. Now, for a lot of EVE Online veterans, this is not a new idea. And as a lot of you can see, there's plenty of capsules we capture in this process. So if you don't appreciate capsule kills, well, a kill mark's a kill mark. <laughs> All looks the same on the ship. <laughs> but anyway, what you're doing with this technique is you're setting up bubbles between two opposing gates in a direct line of path between the other. The idea is you wanna have multiple bubbles set up to where when they see a gate, they might come into the gate and see a bubble and be like, oh, I don't wanna mess with that, and they warp to another gate. And what they're gonna do is when they warp to the next gate, they're gonna fall into a bubble in the path, and you lay out two or three bubbles there, and that's how you're going to grab it. You can see me doing some screenshots because we put all kill logs of regular ships into our Discord page. So what we end up doing is in this process is you set gate one, gate B. In this case, it was the 7Q Kabi gate and the 8YC gate. This is uh, two sections in the Great Wildlands that we sometimes frequent. There's about four alliances that do constant bubble camps. Y'all worry about Syndicate, but they're all over here. So we try to pop bubble camps, and this is actually a spot that's usually a camp. We got rid of the camp first and set up our own because why not? And then we happen to have a friend of mine, Zan, came through and he was easy to spot because he was red, <laughs> came through and what ends up happening is he gets caught in this drag bubble trap. So like I said, between point A and point B, we've set up bubbles in the flight path between the gates. Now something important to note here is we've kept these bubbles off the gate, which helps us have time to get away. So one of the keys to this strategy is you see me chasing that ruptured guardian, which was hella fitted out, by the way. The ruptured guardian had multiple uh, invulnerability fields, a shield hardener, a damage control. That thing was shield tank to the max. So it, it takes a while for even the Cinnable and uh, the rupture that ends up coming with me to hit it. There's only two of us really fighting it, but it takes a couple minutes. But anyway, what you want to do is between gate one and gate two, you want to set the bubbles off the actual gate. We usually do about 150 to 200 kilometers off. Reason being is we don't want to set the bubble in the path directly on the gate. So if a force comes in that's too large for us, then we can make an escape. It's also smart to always be bubble camping in an area that has multiple gates. You want multiple paths to escape. There's a common theme in this game where alliances like to pick dead end systems and set their stations and stuff up there. And I'm sitting here going, that makes you a shooting a fish in a barrel situation. And that's not what I want, as the Cinnabolt does a little three kilometer orbit there around the rupture that is, as I said, tanky as crap. Cormorant gets to get away because we're focusing on the rupture. So what ends up happening between this is if you set your bubbles out and you set two bubbles per gate in a line, you hit approach, and then what you're gonna do is, you know, just start from the beginning. So if you're the bubble ear or the bubble, if you've got the interdiction ship with the bubble on it, what you will do is go about 150 kilometers outside the gate heading in the direction of the next gate. So you hit approach on the next gate, micro warp drive 150, drop a bubble, then drop another bubble at the end of that bubble. See how we have it here in the back of the screen? And what you're gonna do by doing that is you're gonna ensure you ensnare anything that comes through and anything that tries to warp or micro warp approach out through the bubble. So they're getting into another bubble. Their only effort is to turn around. Here's the problem. If they turn around and warp back, they're warping right back into the next bubble that you've set up. There's still places they can warp. Planets, the sun, another gate, an asteroid belt. But too often people get caught up in the moment of, oh snap, I'm trapped in a bubble. Let me turn right around and go back to where I just came from. So if you're listening out there and you want to get away from these bubbles, well, the best bet is don't turn around. Go to a planet. As you see, uh, when we finally got the shield down, the rupture just melted, but that dang shield tank was so tanky. Like, shout out to the shield tank. You dead right, mate. You dead right, mate. The top night, mate. You dead right, mate. 
There's that all around it and got plenty of plasmoids for the bubble. So we appreciate the plasmoids. Uh, sadly, I didn't get either kill marker there. Vega decided to get both of them, even though he didn't do the damage. It is 60% of the damage. I didn't get the kill off. <sighs> you see, we've got three set up there. So like I said, when you're going between these paths, you're going to catch anything warping in between. And it's your job as the DPS in this is you want to make sure you're sitting on the edge of the bubble. You never actually want to have yourself in the bubble. I recommend actually sitting right around on top of the bubbles so that you can warp immediately if need be, but you also have a little bit of space to go in other directions. Be cognizant of what is around you in the game while you're doing these interdiction bubbles because you want to be able to get out. Like I said, and see this is me putting the kill on uh, the Discord page again. You want to be able to get out of wherever you're at. So if you have a bigger fleet warps in, like we only had a, a fleet of seven here. You know, sometimes we'll go out in a fleet of 30. We did that probably three nights ago. We had three full fleets up and we just went patrolling. But when we set up our interdictions, we actually don't like to use big fleets. We use small, quick fleets, as you can see here, with a focus of get out if something too big comes in. But in the meantime, we're going to smack whatever we can find. My favorite thing to actually catch, believe it or not, are like Magnate Covert Ops. They always seem to be hauling planetaries and minerals and it just makes my job easier. If you saw at the beginning of the video, you actually can see here, Hunter is flying around in a industry ship simply to pick up anything that drops in the game. Yes, that's what we do. We literally do that. We hop in between, catching whatever we can can in the web. Now, at the point of this video, I think we'd already had this bubble up 30 or 45 minutes. So a lot of people in the area get wise. Another thing I recommend is with the drag bubble technique, move every 20 to 30 minutes. Don't stay in one spot. Or all you're going to do is get in capsules who are trying to fly through the area. Like I said, a kill mark is a kill mark, but I think we'd all rather have a, you know, a 2 billion Gila kill mark than a zero ISKS. Now we'll say the new shuttles, those are kind of fun to catch. I actually do like catching those. So maybe there is something to killing a pod level thing. But for the most part, using this drag bubble technique between two gates provides you more safety as the pirate while also ensuring more loot because now you're bubbling two gates. Now this does take more fuel, does take more coordination. And that's the key, making sure that your bubble ear or your interdictor boat knows how to lay out the bubbles. And in my opinion, this is actually easier. Too many interdictors that I find in this game, they have a th this habit, and this is me getting another uh, covert ops and loading in on the kills. They have this habit of just launching a bubble anywhere they can around a singular gate. The problem with that is, that's the only place you're at, and tendency is to go back into the gate. So if you get somebody at a gate, like they warp through and you've surrounded it with bubbles, all they gotta do is turn back into the gate and go back through it. If you, uh, it's, you know, they got micro warp drives and inertial stabilizers and everything like that. But with this, if they're getting caught 100 kilometers off the gate, they've got nowhere to go except backwards. And if you're sitting there with your bubble and with your locks, and you can see that I, I run locks, that's a PV, as a group uh, PVP setup I'm running there on the symbol. No cap to save my life, but good initial punch. <laughs> and also I can help lock down if needed. And uh, that was given to me. This one's by Grim. I've got it changed a little bit for solo PvE. For solo PvP, I've got it changed quite a bit, but this one works pretty well for us. And there's Nan Alliance, another group that we run into a lot. So hopefully this idea of drag bubbles helps you out. I don't even think I bother chasing the slasher there. Let's see, we've got a Hound, a Daredevil, Rupture. I think I was actually the biggest ship here. I think I was the only cruiser before we all had them back. But that's the idea between these bubbles is setting up multiple bubbles in a system to catch two paths and that provides you more safety as the player and then it provides you more targets because honestly it literally is like shooting fish in a barrel it is so easy anyway if you like this video i'm gonna need you to hit the like button please hit subscribe if you haven't already get notified every time we go live for eve echoes i will have more allied news network segments coming up as we're getting back in the swing of all the craziness that is this game and go ahead and uh, hit that follow button Join the Discord, link in the description below, and as always, live long and prosper. Stay safe with the Space Cowboys, and remember, shoot first. I certainly will. Like, you, you saw, right? Like, I shot first several times. Lots of capsule kills. I can't wait for all the comments about capsule kills. There's going to be a bunch of them. Already know. Like, I already know. So many comments. But you know what? Kill marks, kill marks. You really don't know. Those people out there with 500 kill marks, could be 700 capsules. Don't even know.
fancy intro music. Yeah! Ah!